Laura Fredericks, the ask, how to ask for support for your nonprofit cause, creative project, or business venture. Embarking on a journey to demystify the world of fundraising, the ask, how to ask for support for your nonprofit cause, creative project, or business venture by Laura Fredericks delves into the intricacies of soliciting financial contributions. The book equips nonprofit directors, board members, and volunteers with essential tools and strategies needed for effective fundraising. Discover the importance of cultivating prospects, the art of tailoring each donation request, and the ways to approach potential donors with tact and elegance. Embrace approaches such as the is soft, direct, and it share yourself to establish meaningful connections with your prospects and transform your cause into a compelling case that resonates with your audience. The Art of Fundraising Nonprofit organizations rely on fundraising for survival, but it's not an easy task. Fear of rejection is common, but fundraisers must rise above it to secure financial gifts. This requires courage and skill, which can be learned and developed. The book emphasizes that fundraising is an important endeavor, and anyone involved with nonprofits must be prepared and make the ask. Remember, Fundraisers are made, not born. Mastering the Art of Fundraising Asks The key to securing a donation during an ask is preparation. Understand your potential donor and their attitude towards money. Take a soft, direct, or share yourself approach, depending on the situation. Cultivate prospects and determine their readiness to donate. Treat each prospect as an individual, pay attention to their characteristics, and identify the best time to make the ask. Asking the right people. Finding the best person to ask for donations can be challenging. Every ask is unique, and the most successful asker might not be who you expect. Are you struggling to determine who should be asking for donations in your organization? It's crucial to identify all potential candidates, including board members, volunteers, and staff members. Consider each person's level of expertise and motivation to ask for money, as well as their availability for fundraising tasks. When it comes to the actual fundraising, it's important to put yourself in the donor's shoes. The person asking for money should be someone that the donor knows and respects. In some cases, it may be best to have a two-person team make the ask, rather than overwhelming the prospect with too many people. Remember, every ask is unique and success depends on finding the right person for each situation. Don't assume that the person with the most experience or the highest job title is always the best option. By carefully considering each potential asker and their individual strengths, you can maximize the effectiveness of your fundraising efforts. Essential Tips for Successful Fundraising Adequate preparation and thoughtful consideration of a prospect's file, interests, and means are crucial for a successful gift proposal. Reflection on timing factors and potential assets is also necessary. When conducting an ask, choose a suitable location and avoid negotiating a specific gift amount. Recognition is important, but its level should not compromise the value of the gift. Creating a winning proposal for donations. Learn the essential components of a successful donation proposal, from a confident warm-up to a persuasive close, with specific tips on crafting your script and interacting with prospects. To secure funding for your organization, creating a detailed and focused script is essential. A winning script should have four distinct parts with individually estimated times, the warm-up, the ask, the prospect's response, and the close and follow-up. The warm-up should establish a relaxed and friendly tone. The ask itself includes five key stages, starting with outlining the strongest possible case for your organization and its financial need, followed by the prospect's interest in the organization and their prior financial support. Be specific and ask for an amount that will serve a particular purpose, detailing the gift's benefits. Once everything has been said, staying silent is crucial. But before making the ask, it is vital to know as much as you can about your prospect. After the initial ask, the prospect needs time to respond, either with agreement, questions, or objections. The key is to handle any objections effectively. 
While remaining professional, it's essential to chat with your prospects on a personal level. The closing of the deal is where things get exciting. You should express thanks, restate the gift sum, provide a date when you'll be in touch, and determine if the prospect has any concerns or comments. Reinforce positivity and secure recognition for their gift. Finally, establish a time and date to meet with the prospect again. By following these essential components, you will be creating a winning donation proposal and improving your chances of receiving a generous donation. Perfecting the Art of Asking Fundraising Tips for Volunteers Fundraising is an essential aspect of community projects and special events. However, volunteers need training in making a good ask and being able to distinguish between a good and poor ask. A good ask is direct, clear, and crisp, with specific details and benefits. On the other hand, a bad ask is generalized, lacking in specific details, and does not provide enough information. To avoid making a poor ask, volunteers need to establish specific tiers for larger annual donations and state the need for an increased amount, along with the increased donor benefits. Finally, to ensure fundraising success, volunteers must always inform their prospects about the details of what they are proposing. Major Gifts Program This book advises creating a program for major gifts and emphasizes the importance of personalization and stressing the investment aspect. It also suggests planned gifts that require top-notch legal and financial counsel, with key considerations including the donor's assets, vehicles, and timing. To receive capital gifts, a capital fundraising program should be established with specific amounts requested and a definitive timeframe for giving. In conclusion, the ASCA demonstrates the significance of being well-prepared, researching your donors, and creating tailored strategies to tackle the challenging landscape of fundraising. It emphasizes that fundraising is an art, where nurturing meaningful connections is the cornerstone. Apart from providing guidelines on how to approach prospect interactions, this book also equips fundraisers with essential aspects of soliciting, such as setting specific amounts for donations and understanding the importance of time frames. Laura Frederick's insights help you triumph over your fear of rejection and emerge as a master in the world of nonprofit fundraising. Remember, the key to successful fundraising lies in fostering genuine relationships and strategically blending the elements of courage, heart, and knowledge.